Tanner, Jack Tanner, Jack Tanner, Tanner, Jack Tanner, Jack Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. The diode. It is one of the most vital electronic components, a semiconductor component. The diode is kind of like a one way valve. It allows electricity to flow one way, but not the other way. So, in this video, I'm going to be explaining how a diode works. I'm going to be using this <laughs> this diode to explain it. This is my water diode, and it is made out of a Coca-Cola bottle and a bouncy ball. But it explains how a diode works fairly well. Let's get started. Start off, let's take a look at a diode. I got a whole drawer right here. As you can see, there's many different kinds of diodes. There's diodes that look like this, and they're kind of uh, large in a TO22 package. And there are smaller diodes like this. There are even huge diodes like this that are meant for rectifying thousands and thousands of volts. And tiny, tiny diodes, such as this one, that are only meant to rectify uh, 20 or 30 volts. So diodes, like this, or like this, all have a circuit diagram symbol that looks like this. Now, this is pretty much this little arrow with a line on the end. Now, this means the current can only flow this direction, but it cannot flow this direction. So, pretty much what this means is if you take this and you hook this up to a power supply of 12 volts, and you hook this one up to ground, the electricity will flow through this diode perfectly. But if we reverse this, and we make this ground and this 12 volts, then what will happen is there will be no current flow at all because the current will be stopped by this because this diode kind of acts like a one-way switch a one-way valve this concept can be more clearly understood with my coca-cola bottle diode let's go put some water through it so you can see as you can see if i have my water diode in this position and i put water through it as you can see all the water flows straight out of the water diode into the bottom it works as it intended as you can see, all the water flowed from the top to the bottom. It wasn't interrupted, it all came out. But if I turn the diode around this way, and I try to put water through it, as you can see, almost no water gets through. The diode starts filling up with water. This is like how a normal diode works. It only lets electricity through one way. And as you can see, if I try to put electricity through this way, no electricity went through. But if I changed it around and put electricity through this way, all the electricity got through. Now, let's say I hook up a diode to my bench power supply with this little tiny white part, which is the line of the diode, pointing towards positive. Now, no current should flow, theoretically. So if we connect it, as you can see, no current flows on the current meter of my power supply. Now, let's reverse this diode. We'll make it so that way current flows from positive through this little arrow to ground. As you can see, lots of current is flowing, and the diode starts to get hot. That means the diode is working as intended. The electricity can only flow through one way. Now to see more clearly how this works, we'll hook this up to an oscilloscope to view an AC signal. So right now, to more further visualize how a diode works, I have this Variac transformer powering this transformer right here, which is stepping the voltage down to a lower voltage. This is being fed into an oscilloscope. And as you can see, when it's just alternating current voltage, you can see that this sine wave is a sine wave. It goes into both ends of the spectrum. But now let's put a diode in series with this and see what happens. Now as you can see, when I have a diode in series with this thing, you can see that only the positive half of this wave is shown. That is because the diode is taking out this whole negative half of the sine wave. The current is only allowed to flow in one direction, in this case, so that way this whole negative half of the sine wave is gotten rid of because it is not there anymore, because the diode is filtering out this part. Now, we can make this diode into something that changes that negative half of the sine wave into something useful, the positive half. And what happens is the current's going to flow from here to here and make this positive, and here to here and make this negative. And then it's going to flow the opposite direction, and it's going to flow from here to here to make this negative, and flow from here to here and make this positive. So this bridge rectifier will make the two halves of the async signal both positive. As you can see, with the bridge rectifier in place, 
then you can see that both halves of the sine wave are actually now in the positive half. Now, if I add a capacitor to this arrangement, we can see how this actually makes a DC power supply from an AC power supply. As you can see when I add a cap in series here, you can see that the voltage goes almost to a perfect DC voltage, straight up there. That completely rectifies the voltage to a 5 volt signal. When I remove the capacitor, it turns back into the AC rectified signal. So that is basically how diodes work. They're kind of like a one-way valve that only allows current to flow in one direction. Just like that water bottle. And as you can see, they can be used for a great variety of things, including this bridge rectifier that allows you to change this alternating current that comes from your wall into a DC current. And I'll explain the difference between alternating current and DC current in a later video. That's just how a normal switching diode works. Don't even get me started on how these inner diodes work and how they can be used for other things, or shocky diodes. Well, that's for a different video. So there you go, that's how a diode works. And it's actually pretty interesting. These diodes can be used in a great variety of applications, such as power supplies and protection, so that way you can't blow out something if you put something in the wrong polarity. They can be used for so many different types of purposes. These diodes are even everywhere on these circuit boards in my circuit board pile. They can be found anywhere, and they're very useful. So. That's how a diode works, and they can be found anywhere, and it's actually pretty helpful to learn from them if you use water as an example. So if you want me to make more of these explanatory type videos where I explain basic electronic devices, then just tell me in the comments, and I'll make sure to do it. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next time.